Good morning, Centerville, and welcome to the Coffee at the Continental Show. We're here to get you up and on the go. So come on down and have an espresso or a simple little cup of joe and watch the Coffee at the Continental Show. Good morning, Centerville. Good morning, good day, good latte. Good morning, yeah. Centerville, Iowa. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning Jeff. Good morning, Doug. And we have Pat, the new general manager of the Continental Hotel here today. So very awesome, very awesome. Good been morning. Looking, been looking forward to this day for quite a while now. Um, and finally got our schedules intact, so very cool. Or in sync. In sync. Well, I'm, I'm like uh, uh, Ziva on NCIS. Oh, I love Ziva. Like, she always says the wrong thing that's supposed to be, you know. Yeah, like, like, what like he, what he's trying thing. to say is I showed up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him up today. That's what he's trying to tell you people. Uh, this is Coffee at the Continental, show 90. Wow. Two weeks, 90 shows. Two weeks away from show 100. Two wow. weeks away from show 100. And we still were thinking about doing the Bill Birch Day, but um, the masks are very expensive. Over $200 a piece for us to be Bill Birch on, on show 100. So I don't think, unless Bill, if you're watching, unless you do want to buy us those masks, we are willing to do Bill Birch Day. I don't then we will why would anybody want to be Bill Birch? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably pretty stressful. <laughs> yeah, with too many things on his plate. Um, <laughs> so, rapper T.I. Uh, is tired of being locked up. This is the big news on the web for Celeb News today. Is it? Yeah. Um, he is so tired of being locked up. He says that all these in and outs of, you know, 11 months here, six months there and everything, he should have just done a four or five year bid, which... I guess makes sense. However, you know, if he continues to look the way he does, like really, I mean, that's a reason to be another reason to be locked up in himself, just like Mike Tyson yesterday. I think they should accommodate him. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> let's let's do a photo. Let's let's pop in a photo here. Ridiculous. <laughs> like, dude, you look like, oh my god, you look wasted. And really, you're going to probably continue to be locked up unless you do something about the way you look. Yes. <clears throat> and probably so, the way you act. I mean, stop squinting, get some visine in the eyes, something, dude. I mean, really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, now, I, I tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this. Oh. It, there's a new super duper push up bra. Have you heard about this thing? Uh, I have not. I and this not, thing lifts them to the moon. I don't. I don't follow bra news. <laughs> All right. Well. Well, the nine zero two one zero star Jessica Lowndes. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Lounge. This is our teleprompter seller. Which Lounge. shows you how famous she is. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which we don't really know who she is, but yes. she was apparently on a nine zero two one zero. I think she's going to be more famous for this shot of the super duper push up bra uh, sporting last night at a party somewhere. So let's go ahead and roll that. Are you kidding me right now? Like really? Like is that oh. what? Where did that come it, from? Like it, that? That I mean? No offense, Doug, but that pro that seems like something that come that would come from the mind of Doug's side. <laughs> so yeah, maybe I should have created that thing. Maybe I, I'd be the billionaire. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it sounds like a yearning for one. What's I think on? maybe I should wear one. Right? <laughs> Because you gotta have it to push up. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, there's really nothing there except for hair. I would to push up, push up yeah, my hairy that, chest. That sounds attractive. Yes, <laughs> it's it's really attractive. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, so again, today our guest is Pat, mm -hmm. and, and tell us whatever you'd like to tell us because. Oh gosh, what can I tell you? Um, okay, that's it, folks. Bye. <laughs> um, <laughs> No, um, we're very busy here at the Continental trying to, uh, you know, get things uh, up and going and kick it up a notch. And um, tonight, Friday night's one of our big nights. Um, we're doing prime rib this evening, which, oh, is, which is not done too often around town. No. And it is amazing. It's huge. It's beautiful. And uh, we're also doing, we're actually not baking potatoes, duck. We are going with roasted red spiced potatoes. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, we're really getting up there. Very nice, That's very fantastic. nice. Yeah, yeah, and sauteed string beans. And the other thing for lunch today, we're doing homemade personal pizzas. Oh, cool. Made the doughs yesterday, and so it's, it's, it's good. Yeah. We're making a lot of changes. I mean, we no longer buy portion foods. We're cutting our own steaks. We're cutting our own chicken. You know, so right. we're, we're, yep. we're bringing it up. A Things lunch. I've noticed working back there. Yeah. And um, doing some more saute, so that's good. 
Uh, and the new menu is kind of in the works. And it's actually done. It is it's done. It's a matter of um, making sure all the stock. I have all the items stocked. Um, so it could drop this weekend, actually. Well. There's not too many changes on it. We are. I am. I'm a. I'm a fish pushing person. Um, I'm trying to get islands to look at fish and make it their friend and right. get away from the beef and the chicken on a Friday and have yeah. you know big big stuff haddock or. You know, we've have culti we've cultivated a bunch of new people that are doing that. They're actually right. enjoying the fish. Right, we've been having the fish Friday. Yeah, and group. it's been working it's really, really well because it's done really, really well. So we have lots of fish for you to saute. We've got salmon. We've got haddock. We've got we've got some good things. And Excellent. of course, tonight is sushi night. Our yeah, bar, that's right. Yes. Yeah, it's sushi night at the bar tonight. Come so. early. We sold out last two Fridays in a row. Sold yes. out of sushi. Didn't have anything left. So yeah. come on down early and. Yep. I am making more. I tripled the batch last week, and I'm going to quadruple it this week, but we'll sell out. Now, my schedule says 5 o'clock. Do you want me here a little earlier tonight? Uh, that would, would be, be good. You want me to come that'd at be, 4? That would be Do awesome. Do 4 o'clock yeah, instead of 5. Great. That way I can get my stuff set up. Yeah. <laughs> that would be perfect. Be ready to go. That would be good. All right. Just, so I just got an extra hour out of the deal, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and I got him to commit because he's on air. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess I, I actually do have to be here at four now. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know if, if, if the viewers can see the table here, but this is another cool thing that we've started here and, and that Pat got going is a, a puzzle. And we came in uh, was yesterday. Was yesterday. Yesterday we came in to move our show table, which is, well, we call it our show table, even though it's you know, belongs over here by the fireplace. And we're like, oh boy, somebody's puzzle. What do we do? What do we do? Mm -hmm. And we found out this is actually something for people to sit down if they want and take a minute and quiet time and, yeah. and, and sit in front of the fire. Sit in front or, of, yeah. You know, and, and it's really, and I can see because yesterday nothing was done on this puzzle and they've already framed it and they've yeah. already sorted all the colors and so somebody was working very diligently here. Yes, they were. I just hope it wasn't my staff. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Staff, we might have a problem. They really have to put the puzzles away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Doug, put the puzzles away. Put the puzzle away the and pick up the vacuum. You didn't know I was here last night doing the puzzle, <laughs> did you? In the middle of the night. <laughs> but it's a cute thing. It's a clever thing. Another thing we, we were instituting is uh, some white chocolate when you're done at dinner with your coffee. Oh, which very is nice. Really a nice touch. So yeah. we'll come to the table with all this shaved, broken pieces of chocolate, which started out whole, but the, because right. we buy them in the big blocks, right. we're chopping them. Yep. And it, I don't know if anybody's ever tried it, but it's wonderful to have a nice piece of white chocolate with your coffee. Oh, it's just yeah. really nice. It is. It's wonderful when you're walking by the dish of chocolate in the kitchen, and yes. you look around and nobody's looking. Boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I buy extra jockeys. <laughs> just for me. Just, yeah. just for that. <laughs> they caught me on camera too many times, and said, oh my god, we have to order more of this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the show views uh, went up a little bit yesterday. Yeah. So we're really excited about that. Great. And we had such a great week last week. Last week. Last week. Last week. week. Last last week. week. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every show we do this. <laughs> yeah, you should get your tongue fitted. I told you that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> do something with it. It's just not fitting in there. Something's not working right. Uh, and, but yeah, last week, what a phenomenal week for the show. Yeah. And hopefully this, the and I, I think today's show will be a good day yep. for the show. Um, well, because we got bad. I well, mean, yeah, of well, course. Yeah. Everybody's going to watch I'm now. in such demand, folks. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Yesterday I was at uh, Seymour Nursing Home. Were you? It was the best fun I've ever had, I swear. Uh, I made them all dolls, and it was the most lovely, touching thing you've ever seen in wow. your life. I mean, one little lady there named Wilma, who is absolutely a darling, um, I went to say goodbye to her when I was leaving, and she was hugging her little doll. And I said to her, now, um, I hope you enjoy your dolly. And she said to me, oh, no, you can't have my dolly. <laughs> she said, anyway, I would be better to it than you will. <laughs> I don't know what that meant, but <laughs> they were so loving. What a wonderful place. It's immaculate, and they're so well taken care of. So we're doing a little program. We're going to go over and make uh, Christmas ornaments with them. Oh, cool. And decorate their trees. So Very anybody awesome. out there who wants to spend an hour and go make some decorations with the people over at Seymour, I'm sure they'd love to have you. Yeah. Yeah. That it's, is it's excellent. a lovely place. Great. And I guess they could um, contact the Seymour facility. Yeah, they to, can call here or, or they, they can, can call, call Seymour. Sure. Or you can call here and, and yeah. get in touch with Pat. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, that'd be awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it's a, it's a lovely place. 
bring people. All right. Uh, bright lights and seasonal sounds. Now, uh, I have a little more information on this. Uh, oh. It's actually Steve Kozak hmm. that is the head honcho of this deal, and no surprise, yeah. really. I mean, the guy's amazing, uh, you know, firefighter and extraordinaire. I used to think uh, about the lights that they're doing. Yes. Oh, they're fantastic. Are they fantastic oh, or they're not? Fantastic. Yes. Now, and also, I believe my, my date is wrong. It's November 26th, and we've been announcing November 28th. Yeah. Uh, it is November 26th that it'll start. And it is, uh, let's see here, Sunday through Thursday from 5 to 10. Now, the, the music that goes along with this uh, can either be on 89, you can either tune it in on your radio, uh, 89.3 FM, um, but the outdoor speakers are also on until 9. Uh, each night. So if, if it's before nine, if you roll down your car windows as you're driving around, you'll be able to hear the music oh, with the great. lights. Um, or just 83.9 FM, and it's all synchronized. That's so great. yeah, that's that's pretty interesting. That's high tech stuff. Mm -hmm. Brought to you by our uh, Centerville Rathbone Lake Area Chamber of Commerce and Steve Kozak. That other awesome. night, I looked out my office window and I thought there was 10 police cars out there. Did you? It was the lights. And yeah. I looked and went, ah, that was, they're all, they're just beautiful. Just I think beautiful. it was Tuesday Tuesday night they did the test run, and we missed it. But uh, Kyle Oker, uh, he, he yeah, managed to catch a glimpse. He, he catched it and, and did I the, did too. That was yeah, he, he gave it the holy, holy but Jesus seal of <laughs> approval. <laughs> holy but Jesus, wow. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, amazing. So another great thing, and that's brand new this year, and uh Joyce is uh, also at the chamber is hoping to expand on that. So yeah, it's something that they'll expand on over the years. So very awesome. And maybe we can get Steve and Joyce or, or one of them at least on the show next week. Yeah, and we'll talk more about it. We've already yep. had both of them. So. Yes. So why not have them both again? Why not have them I heard again? a rumor that they were, they were going to try uh, either next year or the following year, hopefully next year, to light the entire common. Wow. If they did that, it would just be, it would be like going to Disney. It'd yeah. Be fabulous. Yeah. Um, I wonder if they, have they done anything with the courthouse? Are there lights on the courthouse too? I'm not sure. I didn't see lights on the courthouse, but I did see all the hoops lit. They're right. blue and white, and they all play. The, it's beautiful. Right. Um, and I'm the band sure. shells lit up, I believe. Yeah. Um, the light poles, I guess, would be lit up. It's um, very expensive proposition to do that. The yeah. Lighting is, you know, it, it gets really pricey. Well, there. So maybe we need to do some fundraisers and raise yeah, some money they, for these guys. That's what they said. They said uh, four thousand yeah. dollars. They are looking to raise four thousand yeah. right now. Oh, well, I think that'd be great because you know what? It helps expand our business. It's great for our business. It brings the the public in. So I think great that, for the square. Yeah. yeah. Great for every everybody business getting in and square. supported it. I think it would be easy for them to raise that kind of. Yes, yes, I believe that the revenues will come back oh, um, easily. So. Oh, twofold, um, yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely. So, very, very awesome. Tonight, Jennifer Hanley and Revolution at the resort. Now, this is going to be an awesome, awesome show, Centerville, and they don't start till 9, so you can come get your dinner at the Continental and then head out that way, the 9 to midnight. Uh, it is ladies' night, so I'll be a little out of place with my video camera, but yeah, I, don't gonna mind, I don't think I'm going to mind much. Um, imagine that. Yeah. So uh, we're hoping to get some great footage of that tonight, and uh, always great to see Jennifer and hang out with her. She's just an amazing, amazing uh, woman, and the band is incredible. Well, it must be very, very popular. I haven't gone yet, but I had a meeting at Honey Creek the other night, and there's over 400 people going in. Tonight. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. And uh, she is one of the regular uh, performers of the band out there during the summer. Nice. And she hasn't been back. We caught her last show at the end of the summer. We released some footage of that. And we're really excited for, for tomorrow. Or for tonight. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Tonight. Tomorrow. Tonight. It's Friday. Nine it's to midnight. Saying, so. I was going to say, does that mean you're not working this week? Um, <laughs> it means, it means um, actually, I've already spoken uh, with Jennifer on Facebook and let her know I'd be rolling in around 1030. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> All right, Senator, we're going to wrap it up. It looks like we're running out of time. Pat, thank you so Thanks. much. Thank you Great. so much. It's a lot of it's, fun. It's always Have a, a pleasure. Day. Uh, Centerville, we love you. Take care, and we will see you Monday morning, bright and early. For show 91. For show 90. Yeah. For oh. show, show, show. Go for it. And I still can't speak. <laughs> show 90, signing off. <laughs> we love you, Bye. Centerville. <laughs>